Good morning, Bertha. Good morning. Good morning. Bertha, we have your 1970 Jaguar XKE, and it's uh, it's actually turned out incredibly beautiful from, from the first time I saw it, which was in your garage. And so um, I thought that we'd talk a little bit about um, how long you've had the car, your your uh, what you and, 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 and Jerry did with the car, um, and, and how you guys came upon it. And so when did you buy the car, do you think? Early 80s. Early 80s. So you've had the car for a, a long time. Yes. Okay. And did you buy it as we see it right now, or did you buy it in boxes? It came in boxes. <laughs> Lots of boxes? Yes. Did you buy it from a, a private party or from a repair shop? It was from a repair shop. Was that here in town or? <clears throat> I think it was in Ashland. In Ashland. So the car was in Ashland? Yes. And, and, and the, uh, we were flying to Texas and Jerry was seated next to a fellow from Ashland and they got to visiting and the fellow that he visited with was an airplane collector. But he said he knew of this Jaguar that Jerry might be interested in. It was in the shop, his shop or his friend's shop, I don't know whose shop. <clears throat> so, uh, and that he felt like Jerry could buy the car if he was interested in it for whatever the repair bill was because whoever had owned it had the motor overhauled but did not, was not able to pay the bill or did not want to pay the bill, something happened. So Jerry took a trailer to Ashland and paid for the repair bill and brought the car home. It's just in pieces, in buckets and boxes. And <laughs> it was a horrible sight. <clears throat> I, I imagine so, you were jumping up and down with excitement. I was, <laughs> and all of his friends who saw him drag it through Grant's Pass on the way to Cape Junction said, you know, that car's not old enough to be an ant, a collectible. But now it is, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyway. So, so you got, 70. yeah, you got a, it to Cave Junction, and you found people to work on it there. Or? Jerry mainly worked on it. I think he knew someone who was a painter that painted it. Yeah, a good fellow. Yeah, it, the paint right now it looks <laughs> extremely presentable. Like Jimmy Valentine, does that name ring a bell? Uh, maybe I don't know. He was a, I think that's the fellow who He's painted it. But Jerry did the. The work he tinkered on it. He loved working on whenever it. Whenever he wanted, you yeah. know, whenever he felt like. So it was it's it took a while for him to get it running. Oh, a long time. As in like a year or uh, ten years. Probably, oh, I don't think it was that long. I think he kind of <clears throat> pushed. He had some friends who would come help him work on it, and yeah. of course our son helped him too. And. Um, when do you think it got running? When it was you know, I'm trying to think when we took it to a Jaguar meet in Bend, a national Jaguar meet, uh -huh. just for fun, to see what other Jaguars were like and uh -huh. that we could do it. So uh, I think that was 85 or something. Yeah. 95? Mid eight. No, it wasn't in the 90s. It was still in the 80s, I'm sure. Okay. <clears throat> so he finished it, and so you drove it on occasion. Yes. Did you? We used it in parades. Um, oh, and around Cape Junction and Grants Pass, we would drive it sometimes. To, Did you ever take a long trip in it? Well, to Bend, and then we went on up into Washington. Really? Yes. Oh well, it's a good thing you brought a Jag mechanic with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> He loved the car. It ran, yes. He, he loved, and you had a good time. Yes. All right. Um, and so, uh, the last time that it was in a parade or it was driven, do you recall last time? Five years ago, 10 years oh, ago? Oh, no, it's been longer than that. 15 years ago, do you think? <laughs> yeah. Because when we saw it, it, it was definitely had been sitting for a bit. It had, yes. For a, a, a long time. Jerry's been gone five years, so. And so, prior to that? Yeah, and I'm sure he's. It may have, you know, run like in the 2010. It may have still, he may have still been driving it. Okay. Well, <coughs> when we went out there, uh, 
um, I know you had not decided to sell the car, and uh, then we had that fire this summer, and it got moved yeah. into Grants Pass. Right. And at that point, you know, you decided to get it going again, and, and that's when we uh, introduced you to John Urey. Yes. And uh, John's been tinkering with it off and on. You know, we got it cleaned up, and, and it runs beautifully at this moment. I mean, I, you know, the transmission. It looks beautiful. Isn't it amazing? Yes. You Jerry know. could make it shine like that. Could he? Yeah. Well, the paint came out well. Well, listen, um, Bertha, I very much appreciate your time with us and, and very much appreciate you allowing me to present the car and hopefully find a new home for it. It's, well, I it's hope still, you do. Yeah, I hope I do. <laughs> we enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Is there anything you might want to add about the car ownership or anything? Any last words of nothing? The only thing I can remember about it <clears throat> is that when we took it to Bend, Jerry hadn't hooked the ignition up right or something. And he had he would have to park it on a downhill slope so I could push it and to start it. And <laughs> <laughs> then when we got home, he discovered that there was just this one little thing that had come loose, and, and that's that was, why I had, yeah. had to push the thing. Well, the exercise was probably good. Right, yeah. I mean, you needed that. <laughs> And it was a good laugh for anybody watching. <laughs> I'm sure. I hope it won't happen again. Oh, hope not. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Huh?